Okay, here we are. I'm going to do a tutorial here on how I edited this pumpkin pie slice for iStock Photo. Um, as you can see, you can see cuts from the knife and some holes in the pie. And uh, you can see across here with the whipped cream that some of the highlights are gone. Um, and plus, I think I want to crop it around the edges here. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it here into Camera Raw. Um, I'm going to adjust the white balance down a little bit just to make it just a little bit cooler because it was a little bit on the yellow side. I'm going to go ahead and boost the exposure just a little bit. And as you can see, the whipped cream definitely lost its highlights. So, if you use the recovery slider, it will bring some of those back and I will darken the blacks a little bit and I will also usually boost the saturation probably usually no more than five points for an eye stock photo now I'm going to go ahead and open it into Photoshop let's zoom in here and you can see you know, there is some detail in that whipped cream, but some of the detail in the back is gone. So, I'm going to go ahead and reopen it into Camera Raw. I'm going to drop the exposure down so that I can see the whipped cream. I'm going to open that up into Photoshop. Then I'm going to select all, the dark one. Copy. And then I'm going to go over to the one that we're editing. I'm going to paste the dark one over the top of that. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to alt click on the layer mask so it fills it with black. I'm going to set my default colors, push D, zoom in here, grab my paintbrush, make sure that you're painting with white and and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint back some of that underexposed image. And as you can see, you can see the peaks and stuff in the whipped cream. Right here it looks a little dark, but um, I will drop the opacity a little bit to fix that. Because as far as Photoshop is concerned, as long as they can see some of the peaks in those whites, then they'll be happy. was the before and after now I'm going to flatten the image so then it all becomes one image and now we're going to fit it back on the screen so we can go to work on this these areas here that have some problems so go ahead and zoom in on the damaged area I'm going to grab the patch tool and select and drag around to get some of the bigger chunks get them fixed and out of the way And as you can see, the knife mark here where you cut through. And where this isn't really too much against any edges, this should work really well to use the patch tool. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. And we'll do this other nice knife mark. And then we'll just go around and fix up some of these little holes and stuff that were put in the... In the side of the pie when it was cut and stuff. 
Now this one here might be a little bit tricky because it goes right up against that lighter edge. And as you can see, the patch tool actually did a fairly decent job. Now I will make a new layer and I'm going to grab the clone stamp. I always do clone stamps on a, its own layer and go through and then I'm going to fix up some of these other problem areas like in the crust here, um, back here along the back of the pie itself. and fix up the back crust here a little bit. And then as you can see, there's some pieces of crust dangling out over the plate, so we'll go in and we'll zap those as well, just to kind of clean it up. You know, the cleaner the image, the better it will probably sell. And you can see here that it's kind of a jagged edge on the side here where it was cut. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the clone stamp tool again and try and clean this up and make it a little straighter edge. and select the color of the background. And then just go along and clean up this edge the best that we can here. And then, I don't know what this is, a piece of hair and a chunk of crust or something. So we'll go ahead and we'll clone stamp this out as well while we're still on our blank layer. And as you can see, this piece here is, you know, being kind of difficult. So you got to sample a couple of different areas because you don't want it to be the same piece. Go through and clean up a couple of more little areas here. And you could probably touch this up even more to get it even straighter. There we go. And I'll use the patch tool, line up the, the edges. And then as you can see, that done a pretty good job. Um, you zoom out and the piece looks really good. And then you can just go around the edges of the crust and stuff, because this is where there's usually some problem areas.
And just remember the clone stamp tool is your friend. Go around and clean up all of these little imperfections. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and crop this in because I don't like this, you know, this edge on here. And that looks about right. We'll go ahead and we'll crop it. And then there we go.